All right, so let's first start with this first column here. And the energy you are bringing into October is the Hierophant reversed, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. So the Hierophant reversed. You are doing things non-traditionally right now. Normally the Hierophant talks about tradition, things that you were taught as a child and you were raised to believe. It could be in your schooling or in your religion, what have you. But by being reversed, it means it's not traditional. The processes you are undergoing at this time are non-traditional. You have this new idea that you would like to put into action with Ace of Pentacles. It is a fertile idea, a very fertile idea, and it has a great potential for you. So it's just the beginning. You need to analyze it and determine how to go about bringing it into action. Right now at this time, you are in the process of tending your garden, taking care of your projects and your your finances and the um the the things your investments the things that you have already put into place so far while you are trying to start this new adventure this capital this direction you are going to probably maintain both of these at the same time you have a lot of patience waiting for this to grow and it looks like it's going to take a while for this to grow into what you completely want it to grow into. That's why you are thinking about starting this new direction, this new adventure. The next column is your home life. You have Prince of Cups reversed, the Lovers reversed, and the Three of Swords. So in your home life, the romance isn't there so much. This could be a water sign that is in your home life, or you could have a water sign as your moon, sun, or rising, and this could be you in regards to your home life. The water signs are Scorpio, Aquarius, and Gemini. No, Cancer. Uh, Pisces. Okay, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. La, 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 la. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so normally with the Prince of Cups, he is very, very romantic, and he likes to court and, and woo his lover. So right now, this water sign is working out the reversal and not wooing, not courting, not being so romantic. It could be because there is something that you both need to take care of. There, You need to have some time alone with the lovers reversed. You need to take some time apart so you can figure out what it is you need to do. There is probably some karma, some, some lesson that you each need to learn or something you need to undertake before you can come back to each other. And, and have this card upright and have that love and that romance again. It looks like with the Three of Swords, there was something, it could be from this person, this lover, that hurt you greatly. Whatever they said, it really hurt you, hurt your heart. It could be they said something about you that you did not realize you did and you didn't realize it was a part of your character, and it really offended you and hurt you. But at this time, it looks like you just need to have some separation and possibly do some soul searching and healing from whatever the situation is and analyzing your, court, your next course of action. Your desire is Eight of Cups reversed, Ten of Wands, and Six of Swords. So your Eight of Cups reversed. You, your desire, one of your desires is not to leave the situation. You really do love this person. 
greatly and you have put a lot of your time, your love, your energy, your efforts into this relationship and you don't want to have to start over or to leave the situation. Your desire is also to maintain all these burdens that have been brought on you. Some of these burdens could be from this relationship, from this situation. And on top of all the other burdens that you had, it has become really great. And you, you desire to be able to handle and maintain all of these burdens throughout the month of October. With the Six of Swords, you desire it to clear up. Whatever this situation, whatever this confrontation was, it has caused you stress with the with the choppy water and you desire it to clear up. It, you can see that it's mostly in the mind. Even with Three of Swords and with right here, with the swords in the boat, it's mostly in the mind. It's something that you need to look at and, and settle probably in your own mind. What you expect to happen is Nine of Swords reversed, the Strength card, and the Hermit reversed. The, you expect to not have as much anxiety as you have in the past. In the past, you've had sleepless nights, but you expect that to be done with because you are facing the situation, you are dealing with the situation, and you are healing from it. You expect to have the strength you have to have it carry you throughout whatever happens throughout this month and to be able to help the people around you and support them throughout the month. And with the Hermit Reversed, you expect to not get that opportunity to look inwards, to probably confront or, or ask other people for their opinion instead of looking inside yourself, you do some soul searching. You may just turn to others at this time and you expect to not get that time to do that inward reflection. What will surprise you for the month, you have the Alchemist reversed, the Empress, and the King of Cups. So the Alchemist reversed, that's the Magician reversed. So it's going to surprise you that you realize you are not able at this time to make the complete changes and go the direction you want in your life because you don't have all the tools necessary. You may not have all the finances you want in order to make this new direction happen, or you may not have the support or be able to articulate your needs, or you may not have that desire to move on and make the changes that are necessary in your life. There is something lacking in in your tools at this time. And it's going to surprise you that you're unable to move on at this time. It's also going to surprise you that there is somebody around you. This could be you if you are a female. And you are acting as the empress. You're going to be surprised at how strong you are. If it's not you, it's somebody you care for deeply. How, how much of an empress they are. How very fertile and creative and caring and compassionate and really intelligent and spiritual. It's going to surprise you. The strength that they have. With the King of Cups, this is a water sign again. A Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. And it's going to surprise you how, how much, okay, if we look back here on the home, this is probably the same person, actually. They were working out of the reversal, Prince of Cups. But now you see that they weren't acting out of the reversal and being non-romantic. 
They instead were being the King of Cups. The King of Cups is very much in control of his emotions, their emotions, and they know when to say what to say that will affect people emotionally and who to say it to. They watch what they say and how they use their emotions very effectively. They are good at strategizing, and that could be what this Prince of Cups was doing before. And you finally see that and realize that now, that the whole time they were being the King of Cups, but you just felt they were being non-romantic or non, non-loving or caring. But it wasn't so. Actually, they were being the King of Cups. And the soon-to-be future you have is the Eight of Swords reversed, the Fool reversed, and the Princess of Wands. With the Eight of Swords reversed, in, by the end of October, you are going to be, with all these swords, this is mostly in your mind, you thought that you were being held back, that there were there was a block to you. There was bonds that were keeping you in place. They could be your friendship. They could be your job, your your placement, your your responsibilities. And you felt that they were trapping you and you were unable to move. But being reversed, you can see that there there aren't those binds that you thought existed. The blindfold is going to fall off because it's in the reversal and those those ropes are going to fall down also and you will see you will soon see that you can easily maneuver around these this trap that you were in even though you want to start a new direction and begin this new adventure it won't happen at this time. By the end of October, it has been postponed, which is okay, which is fine, because there is something that you need to take care of, and you need to, just like here with the lovers reverse, there is something that you need to, a lesson you need to learn. There is something you need to work on with the alchemist being reversed before you can go out on this adventure. So it may be postponed for a month or two, but take that time, use that time wisely, and learn what you need to learn so you don't have to go through this all over again. With the Princess of Wands, as you can see, you do have this desire, you have this drive, and you do want to go on this adventure and start this new direction. You can see that it is going to be a really good desire new direction and drive for you it is going to be very very spiritual and enlightening for you and your long-term outcome by the end of the year you have ten of swords and ace of swords reversed and eight of wands okay so ten of swords let's just get this over with right away there will be some situation which will just hurt. It will knock you down. It will be like somebody stabbed you in the back and it will hurt. But you have in the same sentence, after this is done, you're back at square one with the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is a new beginning. You can even see the sun coming up and the sunrise and how beautiful it looks out in the day. And it's going to be in your long-term outcome. By the end of the year, it's going to be fresh, new direction that you start. This is one of the best cards to get. Very lucky cards. This and the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Swords and Ace of Wands is the best lucky cards to get in your deck. Or in your reading, even being in the reversal, just being in the reversal, it just means that it's postponed or it'll be slow in progression, in, in fruition. So you have this new idea, this new direction, and it's going to lead you to great things. It's very, very phallic in nature. 
which I believe this is going to speak of a relationship because you have eight of wands also. And that talks about love coming, flying in full speed ahead. You might even go on a trip at this time around the holidays at the end of the year. And it could be with this new love that is slowly developing after you have this number 10, 10 swords. Something needs to end in order for something better to come in and take its place. So it looks like you are going to have a pretty good rest of the year. The month of October is going to be pretty busy for you. You're going to develop something new. You're going to plant a new seed and watch that develop and grow. Use your strength. Enjoy the people around you the strong empress, and the king of cups. Enjoy these. These people are very loyal and loving around you. And by the end of the year, you're going to have this, this love flying in where you're going to travel with this, this new love. It may be the new adventure, the fool, you may be flipping that over and going in a new direction by the end of the year.